Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Building Memorial Junior Senior High School. We have a fantastic MIA Division IV opening round matchup between the Red Hawks of Frontier Regional High School and your Billery Woolies. Good sportsmanship is one of the primary goals of the Billery Athletic Department and the MIAA. All student athletes and coaches must recognize that judgment calls are made in good faith and that they must abide by the decisions of the officials. The spectators can support their program by refraining from derogatory remarks or cheers. We hope that you will enjoy the game tonight and that you will support all our participants in a positive, sportsmanship-like manner. If you require any assistance, please call upon a school or athletic administrator. Now let's meet tonight's teams first for the visiting Red Hawks. <laughs> Sophomore number 12, Delaney Fifield. <laughs> Senior number 15, Kylie LaForge. <laughs> Sophomore number 20, Claire Kirkendall. Junior number 22, Haley Hutkoski. And junior number 23, Molly Gates. They are coached by Dave Michelle and assisted by Tom Scalzo. And now for your Wooly. Freshman number two, Raina Horton. Number 23, Mila Dikiforo. <laughs> Junior, number 11, Ashley LaVore. <laughs> Senior, number 22, Emma Louie. <laughs> and Senior, number 10, Bianca Vincent Carey. The Woolies are coached by Steve Reno. This is by Michelle Polisak, Perry Reno, and Brooke Nadeau. Oh, yeah. At this time, we ask that you all please rise and direct your attention to the American flag as we honor our nation with the singing of the national anthem. Tonight's anthem will be sung by our very own Anna Caney. Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tyler Walkowitz. We're at the Millbury High School uh, Gymnasium out in uh, Worcester, Mass. Traveled quite a ways to get here. And uh, it's the state tournament now, folks. Round of 32, Frontier Red Hawks against the Millbury Woolies. And here's the tip off. Delaney Feifeld's gonna win it, but it's gonna go to Bianca Vincent Quare of the Woolies, she's gonna pass it over there in the corner now, and ball's tipped up, almost brought down by Haley Akowski, body on the floor already, and shot off by Vincent Cuera, goes out of bounds off the foot of Reyna Horton. Frontier's ball on the baseline. Yeah. 
Claire Kirkendall brings it up. Pass over to LaFord. LaFord just before the arc now. Molly Gates in the corner. Pass out to Kirkendall. Kirkendall, LaFord. Feifeld looking for the pass. Kirkendall gets it. And there's Akowski on the baseline. Feifeld in the paint. Shots up and over the hoop. She gets her own rebound though. Can't put it up. And Akowski rips the ball away from Vincent Cuera. Feifeld out to Kirkendall for three. First points of the game are going to go to Frontier. Vincent Cuera. And there's Lagore. Ashley Lagore. Pass into the paint and she's looking for a pass but Feifeld's going to rip it away from her. Some great defense there. Kirkendall speeding down the court past the gates. Her jumper off the glass no good. Kirkendall gets the rebound but fouled. Shot's no good but she's going to go to the line. So Kirkendall after scoring a three pointer for Frontier is going to go to the free throw line. First shot's no good. And a quick sub change for the Woolies. Kirkendall's second shot is good. And Vincent Cuero is going to take it up. It's in the corner now. Emma Luby. Vincent Cuero pass into the paint and out. Fake movement. And then we've got Vincent Cuero again. Travel called on Vincent Cuero. Willis can't catch a break so far. We're only uh, just about a minute and a half in to the game. 6.25 left on the clock for the quarter. Molly Gates. Pass to LaFord. Kirkendall in the corner. Fake shot, and she's going to move out to the top of the arc. Finds Akowski, and Akowski gets a travel call it on her as she starts to drive into the paint. And the Willies are going to take it up. Vincent Cuera, fake shot. She's going to move forward, and Akowski rips the ball away from her. Some really aggressive defense we're seeing from Frontier so far. Kirkendall slows it up a little as she meets Vincent Cuera at half court. LaFord gets a screen from Akowski, passes into Akowski. Akowski can't keep her footing and she's going to fall down, ball rolls out of bounds. And it'll be the Woolies ball. There's Brielle Brothers subbing in for the Woolies. Vincent Cuera. And in the paint, nice shot there. First points for the Woolies. Kirkendall, pass to Kowski in the corner, looking for a pass. She's picked up her dribble and she's gonna try and get it to Feifel, but it's gonna go out of bounds. It'll stay Frontier's ball though. Gates in the corner. Takes it out. Kirkendall looking for a line to the basket and it's going to go out of bounds after a block shot. Willie's ball. Scores two to four. Frontier's on top. And in the corner now, Lagore. Looking for someone. Finds Asongwed and Hukowski intercepts the ball. She's going for a fast break, it looks like. Not going to pass anyone. She goes up. No foul called as it was a blocked shot, it looked like. And some fast movement from both teams right now. Lagore, Vincent Cuera, out to Brothers. Lagore, fake pass into the paint and she's gonna get it back. And her shot looked like it was for threes, no good. Kirkendall gets the rebound and launches down to LaFord. She's got some room to work with, goes up, and it's good! And one for LaFord, her first points of the night. Yeah. 
But Ford's free throw is no good. And Asongwed's gonna get the rebound. Passes it over to Lagore. Lagore looking for someone to pass to. Finds a teammate in the paint. That's Myla Nikiforo. Sub coming in. Alana Cudmore for Nikiforo. Kirkendall gets the inbound from Gates. She'll take it up. Hands it off to Nikowski. Nikowski into Feifeld and Nikowski gets the ball knocked away from her. Out of bounds. It'll stay Frontier's ball. Inbound pass from the sideline. Gates is going to take it and it goes out to Kirkendall. Kirkendall gets a screen from Feifeld and Nikowski from the corner. No good. Gates can't put it up. Feifeld gets the rebound and sends it back out to reset with LaFord. LaFord drives to the corner. Out to Kirkendall. She's open, and her three's no good. But Feifeld saves it and can't get it into Akowski. So it'll be a turnover. No points for Frontier, but a lot of time killed. Vincent Cuera, one of the leading scorers for the Woolies, passes it off, and now it's in the paint. Shots blocked again. LaFord taking it up the side of the court. And her shot is no good, but there's a foul called on the Ford. Vincent Quare did a great job getting her feet planted. So that'll be the Ford's first foul of the game. Frontiers first as well. Vincent Quera takes it up, passes it over to Cudmore. Cudmore into Asenwed. Her shot, no good. She has the only points for the Woolies so far in this game. Kirkendall, LaFord, nice fake there. She's gonna go into the paint, and her shot's good. And the pass is intercepted by Kylie LaFord. She's gonna go for a layup, and it's good. Six points in a row for Kylie LaFord, and that is going to prompt a Woolies timeout. So they're gonna take a quick break, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz. In the corner now for three. No good, and the rebound is not gonna go in. It's gonna fall into the hands of Delaney Feifeld. Passes it over to Kylie LaFord. We're getting right back into the action here. And it's a very fast game. Kirkendall, McKemmy for two in the corner. No good, and Kowski can't reel in the rebound. And some miscommunication. Kemi looks like she got hit in the mouth. She seems to be okay, though. It'll be Frontier's ball under the hoop. Kirkendall gets the inbound and is going to find. Someone in the corner for three. No good. I couldn't see who that was. And Hakowski tries to handle the ball, but can't quite grab it. It's going to go out of bounds on her. Willie's get the ball. Nicoforo is going to take the inbound. Pass in to Vincent Cuera. Vincent Cuera takes it up. Nicoforo looking for someone to pass to. Finds the Gore on the sideline. Back to Nikoforo. Vincent Cuera makes a move around McKemmy. Gets a little bit of room, and then she swarms Nikoforo back at the top of the arc. She drives to the top of the key, and a jumper is good for three. That was the Gore. First points of the night for her. Also a leading scorer for the Woolies. Hand off to Kirkendall, and the pass is intercepted. And she's going to go for a layup, but it's no good on the breakaway. The rebound isn't good either. Willie's trying to retain possession. And jump ball called. Or no, it's a foul, it looks like. Foul on McKemmy. Willie's inbound to the corner for three. No good over the net, and Kirkendall is going to get the rebound on a pose. Takes it up past half court. Hands it off to Campbell. Whitney Campbell 
gets it to McKemmy. Feifeld on the baseline out to McKemmy. She's gonna pass it back in to Feifeld who puts the shot up no good. And Vincent Cuera gets the rebound. Pass to Lagore. Lagore, jumper for three, no good. And now Hakowski gets the rebound. She's looking to take it all the way. Gets pushed a little too far to the side, and Feifel gets the rebound over to McKemmy. Makes a nice move for three. Oh, no good, in and out. And there's some nice pressure from Feifeld and Kirkendall against Lagore. I think I've been mixing the two of them up, Lagore and Vincent Cuera. That's my fault. Yeah, that's Lagore taking it up. Over to Nico Nicoforo. And a shot from in the paint is good. That was from Emma Luby, a senior on the Woolies. Campbell, Hakowski in the corner now. Trying to take it out, looking for a pass. She's gonna find Kirkendall cross court. Kirkendall, top of the arc, hands it off to McKemmy. 20 seconds left in the quarter. Kirkendall drives to the baseline. Out to McKemmy, jumper from the top of the key. No good, and Feifel can't bring down the rebound, but it's gonna go out of bounds with 11.1 seconds left in the quarter. And it'll be the Woolies ball. Lagore takes it up slow. Probably trying to make a last minute shot here. Last second. And she gets blocked and five votes <laughs> tossed down the court is no good. So that'll be the end of the first quarter, folks. Frontier is up by three points, 10 to seven. And we will be right back with the second quarter of this round of 32 states tournament game. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz. It's the Woolies against the Red Hawks. Woolies are down by three right now. And Vincent Cuero has the ball. Passes it over to Nicoforo. Nicoforo getting stopped by LaFord and Lagore with the ball now. Pass to Nicoforo. She's going to drive past the arc. And now there's a pass into the paint. And there's another two points. That play's been working for them pretty well so far. Again, the points come from Emma Luby. And foul called on the forward moving screen, I think it was. So now the point differential is only one point, And that is all the more significant, considering there have only been 19 points scored in this game so far. Lagore takes it up to the arc, looking for someone to pass to. LaFore playing some aggressive defense, pushes her all the way back to half court. And now Vincent Cuera makes a move and travel is called. Takes a shot afterwards, but it's not gonna count. So Frontier gets the ball on the sideline. Inbound from Gates goes to Kirkendall. Kirkendall, pass to LaFord. Hukowski. Driving, Kirkendall for three. No good, and Gates can't bring in the rebound. Vincent Cuera is gonna try and take it to the arc. Gets past LaFord. Out to Nicoforo, and Nicoforo making some nice moves there to throw off LaFord. And Lagore has some room to work with. Her shot's no good, and Gates tears the ball away from Vincent Cuera. LaFord, open three. That's good! Ford making it look easy. Nicoforo. Lagore in the corner. Trying to get past Gates. She's stuck at the baseline. Nicoforo for three. No good. Kirkendall gets the rebound. Looking for LaFord. There she is. Her shot. No good. Hakowski gets the rebound. Tearing through everyone. LaFord. Kirkendall, back to LaFord. LaFord on the brink of a milestone right now, one point away from 300 points on the season. And a hook shot from McKemmy almost goes in. Raina Horton brings the rebound down for 
the Woolies, but they're gonna call a jump ball and it's gonna go to Frontier. Gates has the inbound to Hakowski. Spin move, puts the shot up. Horton brings it down for the Woolies. She'll take the half court. Slows it down a bit, gets it over to Lagor. Lagor, the Horton's jumper is good for three. There's a nice boost for the Woolies. 12 to 13, 525 on the clock for the first half. The Ford, McKemmy. Hakowski looking for the ball in the corner. The Ford sees her, but so does Emma Luby. She'll pass it over to Asong Wed, and she'll get fouled on the way up. Or my fault, that was Brothers, Brielle Brothers. So Brothers is gonna go to the line. That's LaFord's third foul of the night. According to the scoreboard, at least. I think it might only be two, but I'm not sure. First shot's good, and it's a tie game. LaFord subbing out of the game. Whitney Campbell replacing her. And Brothers' second shot, no good. Gates comes up with the rebound, and now Feifeld passes it over to Kirkendall. Five minutes left in the half. Pass in to Feifeld. She can't handle it. It's going to go onto the ground, and they're going to wrestle for it. Jump ball. It's going to go to the Woolies. And now here's Nikoforo. Horton over to Lagore. Lagore at the arc, cross court to Nikoforo. Or excuse me, that is brothers. Oh my God. Lagore for three. Wow. And the Willies are up by two now. Whitney Campbell. McKemmy back to Campbell. Nice move there. Can Gates handle the ball? It's going to get taken away from her. Nikoforo takes it up. Gets Horton on the sideline. Back to Nikoforo. Ball's tipped, though. Nikoforo trying to make a move on Campbell. Picks up the dribble, and now she's going to pass it over to Lagore. Back to Nikoforo. Lagore. Shot clock at 15. And the ball is almost intercepted. Lagore. Out to Horton for three. No good. Gates can't get the rebound and the shot's blocked. Second rebound's no good and Feifeld's gonna bring it down for Frontier. Frontier not capitalizing on their offense the last few possessions. Gates, McKemmy, Campbell round the horn. It goes to Feifeld now, back out to McKemmy. Makes a move, jumper at the top of the key. No good, and there's no one there to get the rebound. It's gonna go out of bounds. And it's the Woolies ball. 3.16 on the clock for the first half. Red Hawks down by two. And it's a low scoring game as well. Horton in the paint. And her pass goes right through the hands of Nikoforo. Campbell pass in to Kirkendall. Kirkendall into Feifeld, back out to Kirkendall. She's in the corner now, drives the baseline. Feifeld gets her own pass back. Hakowski can't handle the pass and it'll stay Frontier's ball. Guess she didn't even touch it. Under three minutes now in the half. Gates looking for the inbound. And it's gonna get it to Campbell, even though the ball was tipped by Lagor. Hakowski in the gates, tipped out of bounds by Lagor again. Stays Frontier's ball. 
Kirkendall to take the inbound this time. Feifeld gets fouled in the paint. So she's gonna go to the line and get a chance to tie up this game. First free throw is no good. Feifeld, second shot. No good, but Frontier can't get the rebound. And it'll go out of bounds off of Frontier. Lagore into Vincent Cuera, who passes it back to Lagore. So she'll take it up past half court. Met by Campbell. She's going to pass it over to Nicoforo. Back to Lagor. She can't handle the pass, and it's going to get stolen by Campbell. Campbell on a one-on-one -on -one against Nicoforo. And she gets it in. Tie game. After two points in the paint by Whitney Campbell. Vincent Cuera for three. That's good. Her first points of the night, I believe. Could be wrong, but. Feifeld out to Kirkendall. Her three to answer. No good in and out. She's going to almost get her own rebound. Ball's tipped. And there's Kirkendall with the ball. After a pass from Campbell, Kirkendall drives out to Campbell in the corner now. Kirkendall hands it off. Gates. Hikowski is slowing it down. Kirkendall. And Feifeld gets two points. Frontier down by one now. And here's Lagore. Vincent Cuera in the corner, same shot as before, and it's good. There's something Frontier needs to work on. Figuring out that play. Kirkendall. Gates. Campbell. In the corner now, Akowski for three. No good, and Vincent Cuera brings it down over Kirkendall, excuse me, LaFord. And her layup is no good. Brothers goes to the line after getting fouled. Her shot's no good though, so she'll get two shots. Brothers first shot, no good. The Kami coming in for Molly Gates. And Brothers second shot is good. Frontier now down by five. Under a minute left in the half. Campbell, McKemmy. Back to Campbell. Feifeld. Hook shot, no good. And it's gonna go to, it's gonna be a Woolies ball. Looks like it was a foul on someone. Might have been a Kowski. That's gonna give the Woolies a bonus. Yeah, it was. And it'll send Brothers back to the line. Brothers' first shot is good. Extending the Woolies' lead with 37 seconds left in the half. Second shot, also good. Let's see if the Red Hawks can get a few last second points to get them in a good position for the second half. Pass into Campbell. McKemmy goes just over her head and she can't reel it in. It'll be out on Frontier. Shot clock is off. 27.9 seconds on the clock. Lagore to Vincent Cuera. McKemmy's all over it. She read the play. And here's Nicoforo. Vincent Cuera. And Horton in the paint. 
gets fouled, and there'll be two shots for Horton with 8.7 seconds left in the half. Frontier shooting themselves in the foot with these fouls. Right at the end of the half, too. Horton's first shot is good. Second shot, no good. And Hakowski gets the rebound. Pass to Kirkendall. There's the buzzer beater. No good off the rim. So the score at the half is 25 to 17. Frontier is down. But who knows what's gonna happen in the second half. It's the round of 32 in the state tournament, folks. And we are gonna be right back after a little bit of a longer break for halftime. Mason Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz, you're watching Frontier Community Access Television. <coughs> Had to get that out. All right, three, two, one. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Tyler Walkowitz. We're at the Millbury High School outside of Worcester, Mass. It's 25 to 17, Frontier is down, and it's the start of the second half. And Frontier just turned over the ball, but a nice defensive play by Delaney Feifeld is gonna delay a little bit of momentum for the Woolies. Vincent Cuera to Horton. In the corner now, shot's no good, and Kirkendall is gonna come up with the rebound for the Red Hawks. Looking for a pass down court, she's gonna find Hakowski in the corner, Kirkendall, and the Ford at the top of the arc. Pass into Feifeld, Kirkendall drives. Kirkendall, after a pass from Hakowski, Gets a screen from Mikowski. And cross court to LaFord who puts up a three. That's good. And there's Kylie LaFord. 302 points on the season now. What an amazing landmark. And it's her senior season too. To top it all off. Nicoforo for the Woolies. Vincent Cuera looking for a pass and she gets it top of the key. Shot's no good and Feifeld gets the rebound, hands it off to Gates who'll pass it back to Kirkendall. Kirkendall gets it across the half court line to LaFord. Kirkendall, Hakowski, top of the key, out to LaFord. She looks for a shot, doesn't like it so she'll drive and her shot's no good. Brought down by Horton, who's gonna pass it over to Lagore. Lagore gets it to Vincent Cuera in the corner. And now here's Lagore's three, no good, off the side of the rim. Kirkendall, met by Nicoforo, will pass it off to LaFord. Pass over to Kirkendall, Gates on the sideline. And into the paint, there's two points from Delaney Feifeld. Frontier inching back. Three point difference now and Vincent Cuera has some room and Horton is swarmed in the paint. Gates swats the ball down and they're gonna say it's off on Horton. That's an interesting call but it'll be Frontier's ball. Kirkendall. Met by some fierce defense by Nicoforo. She'll get around it though, LaFord with it now. Kirkendall in the corner and Horton swats the ball out of bounds. 527 left in the third quarter. And a sub coming in. That'll be Brothers. Brothers coming in for Emma Luby on the Woolies. Kirkendall pass into Feifeld, puts up the hook shot, no good. 
and Hakowski's shot is also no good. Stays Frontier's ball. Hakowski called that one. And Gates is going to take the inbound. Looking for someone. She'll find Feifeld. Goes up. Shot's no good. Hakowski out to Kirkendall for three. No good. And Feifeld can't bring down the rebound. A little tightrope back there from Vincent Cuera. That's some nice handling skills. Brings the ball up past half court. And there she is again in the paint. Pass out. And Lagore for three. That's good. Wow. What an incredible sequence right there from the Woolies. And unsurprisingly, that's going to prompt a timeout from the Red Hawks. 4.55 left in the third quarter. Frontier's down by six. They're going to take a quick break, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Tyler Wolkowitz. Coming back from a timeout. That band giving it their all tonight from Millbury. You love to see it. And here's Kirkendall. Pass back to LaFord. Feifeld. Top of the arc now. LaFord. Hakowski. Back to LaFord. And screen from Hakowski. Kirkendall in the corner. Drives the baseline. Shots up. No good off the side of the backboard. Kirkendall brings down the rebound. Puts it up. And she's fouled. Some mixed responses from the fans. Kirkendall will go to the line, though. Kirkendall's first shot is good. <laughs> Kirkendall's second. No good. Gates can't bring down the rebounder. Excuse me, that was Akowski. It'll stay Frontier's ball. Kirkendall for the inbound. Trying to find Gates. It's going to get brought down by Lagore. He's going to pass it over to Brothers. Brothers to Vincent Cuera, and she gets sent onto the floor. By Akowski, I think that was. No surprise there. Vincent Cuera at the free throw line. Shot's no good. Kirkendall gets the rebound. She's going to take it up to half court. LaFord in the corner. Three is no good. And Brothers is going to take it all the way. But the shot is no good. Asong Wed's going to finish it for her. Frontier needs to make up some serious ground after it had a great start. Feifeld pass in to Terozic. Nice two points there. That's the kind of points that Frontier needs to score. Some nice quick plays in the paint. Pass out, Vincent Cuero for three. No good off the front of the rim. Brothers brings down the rebound. Out to Nicoforo, Lagore. They're going to reset Vincent Cuera, sideline. And Brothers fakes a shot, picks up the dribble, and in the corner, Vincent Cuera now in the paint. Pass into Lagore. Her shot's good. The Woolies starting to pull away from Frontier. Kirkendall. Hands it off to LaFord. LaFord gets a screen from Gates. And they call a moving screen on Molly Gates. Lagore takes it up for the Woolies. Nicoforo. And Brothers. 
Not sure what the call was, but it's going to be a turnover. Might have been a travel. Kirkendall calls out the play as she gets the inbound pass. Met by Nicoforo. Hands it off to Gates. He's looking for a pass. Akowski in the paint. Getting around Aston. It'll stay Frontier's ball after it gets knocked out of bounds. A little bit of a hook shot it looked like from Akowski. Gates into the four. She goes up and gets fouled. Forward, first shot, no good. Fifel gonna sub in for Gates. And the forward second shot, no good. And Brothers gets the rebound. Pass up to Lagore, almost went between her legs. Vincent Cuera on the sideline. And her pass from Vincent Cuera is supposed to go to Lagore, but there's some miscommunication and it rolls right out of bounds. So it's Frontier's ball at half court, or just before it. Kirkendall. Hands it off to LaFord. LaFord calling for a screen or a pass. There's Akowski who meets her. Mikowski, LaFord in the corner for three. No good, Feifeld gets the rebound and can't finish the shot. Horton, one-handed pass over to Vincent Cuera. He gets trapped in the corner, pass out to Horton for three. That shot's no good and it can't be saved by Nicoforo. 141 on the clock for the third quarter. And it looks like Milbury's kind of having a one-man press, almost. A little bit of pressure on the Hawks. Kirkendall pass to LaFord, into Sarozic. Feifeld puts it up and is fouled by Horton. And I say this every game, but free throws are just as important as every other shot. And when you miss them like that, it can come back to kill you. Five felt second shot. In and out, no good. And Horton gets the rebound, barely gets it away to Vincent Cuera. Vincent Cuera met by LaFord and for three is no good by Lagore, and the shot up is no good in the paint by Nicoforo. Gets swarmed by Red Hawks and LaFord. Slows it down a little, pass out to Kirkendall. Kirkendall, looking for Akowski, she's gonna find her. Kirkendall, hands it off to LaFord. LaFord, Akowski, Kirkendall for three! No good. And Lagore is gonna bring it up. Jerozic following her. Cross court pass, Vincent Cuera. And now she's open in the sideline for three, but no good. Akowski brings down the rebound. Was looking for the pass to LaFord, but couldn't find it. Kirkendall, LaFord, there's the three, and it's good. Frontier putting together a press on the fly, it looks like. Vincent Cuera all alone against Feifeld. Puts it up and it's no good. Rolls around the back of the rim. What a close shot. And it's gonna go out of bounds and be Frontier's ball. That is some, that is a big stop right there for Frontier. Five seconds on the clock. Hakowski's shot, that's good for three, oh my God. <laughs> and the third quarter. 
Wow. 34 to 31. Frontier is now only down by three. They've closed quite a big gap. And we'll be back in just a few moments with the last quarter of this very exciting round of 32 state tournament game. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz. It's the last quarter of this round of 32 state tournament game. Frontier is down by three, 34 to 31 against the Millbury Woolies. Nikoforo passes it in to Lagore for the Woolies. Kowski against Nikoforo. Blocks her pass, but Vincent Cuero gets it. She's gonna launch it out to Lagore. Her three is good. That's why she's the leading scorer of the Woolies with an average of 15.9 points per game. Oh, and Kirkendall's layup goes in and out so close. In the corner now, Brothers. Pass over to Vincent Cuera. And there's Nikoforo. Jumper for two, no good. Starozic brings down the rebound. Gets stripped by Lagore. Pass it over to Vincent Cuera. And foul called on Starozic. A very smart play there, drawing that foul to prevent the easy layup by Vincent Cuera. Might give Frontier the opportunity for a turnover. And it's only her first foul, too. Kirkendall checking out. McKemmy and Gates are in for the Red Hawks. And there's the inbound from Lagore to Vincent Cuera. Nicoforo. Looking for a pass. Takes her first dribble and gets it over to Brothers. Brothers, Vincent Cuera in the corner. Back to Brothers. She'll move it in a little bit. Double teamed. Jump ball. Frontiers ball. Some great defense there from LaFord and Molly Gates. McKemmy takes it up, calling out a play. Met by Nikoforo. Hands it off to Gates, who switches up directions. Pass into Kowski, who's gonna drive. And the shot's called off as she traveled. And a little bit of a press from Frontier. They're gonna get it past half court, though. And the Woolies pass it out to Horton, who takes a jumper. That's good for three. And a nine-point game now that Frontier needs to make up. Mikowski, pass in, tips off the hand of Horton, and Gates puts it up, shot's no good. She gets her own rebound, puts it up again, and the Gore's gonna bring down the rebound. Swarmed, though, she'll get it away to Brothers. Brothers looking for someone to pass to, and there's Lagore again. She'll get it to Horton, who gets met by two Red Hawks and travels under the stress. Frontier's defense, I can say, is greatly improved, but they're gonna take a timeout with 5.51 left in the game. They're down by nine. They're gonna take a quick break, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, still here with Tyler Wolkowitz. It's 40 to 31, Frontier's down by nine and they have the ball. Madison McKemmy's gonna take it up and there is 5.45 left in the game. Pass almost intercepted by Lagore. Gates retains possession though. Hakowski, McKemmy, LaFord now at the arc. Pass back to McKemmy. She's gonna drive, jumper! No good off the front of the rim and Feifeld can't get to it before Horton does. And travel called on Nikoforo as she can't plant her feet before she passes.
Kirkendall calls out the play. Takes it up, meets Nikaforo. And now it's the Ford in the corner. Passes it in to Feifeld. Ball's loose and jump ball called. It'll go to the Woolies. 5-10 on the clock. Lagore passes it up to Horton. And foul called, I think it was on Hikowski, maybe. I think so anyway. Or something happened. Play stopped and it's still the Woolies ball. Pass in from Lagore to Vincent Cuera. Vincent Cuera against the Ford. She'll pass it into Horton. Horton double teamed. And now Lagora open for three. That's no good. Might have been an air ball. Actually, no, I think it hit the bottom of the backboard. But either way, it's Frontier's ball. Kirkendall to take it up. Trying to get past Nikaforo. Whistle blown. And it looks like it was a foul on Nikaforo, but I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what the call was, but uh, either way, Woolies ball and Frontier orchestrating a press on them. And it's broken pretty quickly. Brothers fouled on the way up and the shot counts. Frontier needs to be successful on their offense in order for them to crawl back from this deficit. Because their defense has been more or less successful, especially in this second half. No, referee's clarifying that it is just one shot as she made the basket. Brothers, free throw. No good. Feifeld gets the rebound and she's gonna launch it down the court to LaFord. He passes it over to Kirkendall. Kirkendall drives, Gates, LaFord for three at the top of the arc. That's good! Oh boy! Forty-two to thirty-four, and the ball is almost intercepted by Claire Kirkendall, and it goes out of bounds. Some great pressure from the two leading scorers on Frontier, Kirkendall and LaFord. LaFord will take it up. Four minutes in the game. Akowski's wide open. She'll take a three. No good. And there's Feifeld to put it in for two. Now how in the world did that happen? Two wide open players. And Vincent Cuera gets it to Brothers, who passes it over to Horton. Horton takes it to the basket and blocked. Timeout. Clean block and a timeout called. And so Frontier down by only six now. We're gonna take a, they're gonna take a quick break and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm still Mason Smith here with Tyler Wolkowitz. It's 42 to 36, Frontier down by six, 340 left in the game. And the Woolies have the ball underneath the basket. Inbound pass in the corner for three. Nikoforo's shot is no good and it's gonna go right to Haley Akowski who hands it off to Kirkendall. Kirkendall gets a screen from the Ford. Not too effective, but LaFord's gonna get the pass. Takes it in, Feifeld shot, there it is! Four point game. And it's, it looks like it's gonna be a close one as Kirkendall almost steals the ball from Vincent Cuera. Vincent Cuera gets the pass away while sitting down. And Lagore gets the pass in and there's Brothers with it now. Nikoforo, Brothers. And Gates stops Brothers. Nikaforo, top of the arc. Horton 
Shot clock winding down. There's a three. No good. And Kirkendall launches it down the court. LaFord. Ball goes out of bounds, and it will stay Frontier's ball, it looks like. That's the kind of defense that Frontier needs to have for every play in this game. Just a lockdown. They couldn't get past the three-point line. Kirkendall, soft pass into Feifeld. Gates with it now, and Kirkendall travels, and the ball's turned over. 2.38 on the clock. And here's Lagore getting it past LaFord. And Akowski has the ball, but it's a travel as she rolls on the ground to try and retain possession. And Horton's going to check out. Emma Luby coming in. Lagore. Nikoforo back to Lagore. Nikoforo again. And here's the pass. Oh my God. It's loose. And Kirkendall gets it. And it's stolen by Lagore, but she swarmed. Barely gets the pass off to Vincent Cuera. And LaFord's going to try and stop her. Open shot for Brothers. No good. And Vincent Cuera puts it in for two. Six point game again. And under two minutes now, Frontier takes a timeout. We're coming down to the wire here, and Frontier needs to put something together fast. So they're going to take a quick break, and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello, and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, here with Tyler Wolkowitz. Frontier is down by six points. There is one minute and 58 seconds left in this game. The loser of this game is knocked out of the state tournament and their season is over. Kirkendall pass into Kowski. Gates struggling to retain possession. Kirkendall gets it. And now Akowski in the corner for three. It's no good. Kirkendall gets the rebound, puts it up. And that shot's no good. Nick Aforo gets the rebound for the Woolies. And LaFord and Kirkendall swarming Vincent Cuera. Almost force a turnover. Gates steals the ball. LaFord, breakaway, gets the shot up, and it's no good. And Vincent Cuera, excuse me, Nicoforo, gets the pass off to Brothers, and now Vincent Cuera, Lagore. They're trying to just take their time and dribble the game out. Foul on LaFord. That's our fourth foul of the game. Willie's getting an impound. It's going to go to Vincent Cuera. Under a minute left in the game. And now Brothers for three. No good. Kirkendall trying to get the ball. She does. Gets it to Akowski, who puts it up, and it's no good. But she gets fouled. So she'll go to the line. Two shots for Akowski with 46.2 seconds left in the game. First shot's good. Five point game. And like so many of Frontier's games this year, this is going to be a very close one. Akowski's second shot, no good. Gates gets the rebound, puts it up, it's good! Three-point game. Frontier can tie it with one shot. There's a wide open Nikoforo. And Lagore, 30 seconds on the clock. Brothers, back to Lagore. She loses control of the ball. Gates almost steals it. And the ball's knocked out of Luby's hands. But it's going to be a foul, so Luby's going to go to the free throw line with 19.9 seconds 
left in the game. And a timeout is called by the Red Hawks. They're down by three. They're gonna take a quick break and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Mason Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz. 19.9 seconds left in the game. Frontier's down by three. And here's a free throw. It's good. The Woolies are up by four. Second shot is good. Five point game and there's another timeout taken by the Red Hawks as they gotta try and find a way to at least tie the game in barely under 20 seconds. They're down by five. They're gonna take a quick break and so will we. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. 19.9 seconds on the clock. Frontier down by five. Kirkendall gets the inbound from Gates. Kirkendall speeding down the sideline, makes a nice move. Back to LaFord. Kirkendall now, 10 seconds. LaFord for three. It's no good. And Vincent Cuera has it fouled with 2.9 on the clock and she'll go to the line. Zinquera's first shot is good. And her second is no good. Gates to Feifeld, and there's the buzzer. The Red Hawk season comes to a close in a very close game. Six point difference, it's 47 to 41, the final score. The Millbury Woolies are gonna move on to the round of 16. What an incredible game from the Red Hawks. One of their captains, Kyla Ford, hits a huge milestone for her last season at this school. 300 points in the season. And for the last time, 41 to 47. Frontiers season has come to an end. So we'll see you for spring sports, I suppose, at FCAT. I've been Mason Smith, Tyler Wolkowitz, and our man in charge, Mr. Kevin Murphy, who's editing this and putting it all together for us. We hope you have a wonderful night, and we will see you next time. You've been watching Frontier Community Access Television.